Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be solving this question, the integral of cos x inverse x dx. And it has been specified in the question that it's only for all x greater than 0. This upside down a is the symbol for all. It means the word for all. So it's only for x greater than 0 because the domain of the function cos x inverse x is all numbers x which are greater than or equal to 1. So we cannot have an, a 0 or less number. Okay, to solve this problem, we will be using the Lie-8 rule because we are solving it by parts. The formula for by parts is u into the integration of v dx minus the integration of differentiation of u into the integration of v dx. u and v are two terms of the integral. So here we have the two terms, 1 and cos x inverse x. Now Lie 8 helps us to decide which term we should keep as u and which term we should keep as v based on which term of the integral is easier to integrate and which term is easier to differentiate. So it is the order of preference for the first term and once we select the first term, the second term will automatically get selected. So let's see here, we have two terms, 1 and cos x inverse x. 1 can be written as x raised to 0 and thus can be named as the algebraic term. And we know that cos x inverse x is the inverse trigonometric term. Now, algebraic comes after inverse trigonometric in the Lie 8 rule, which means that we will keep the inverse trigonometric term as u, and the algebraic term as v. Thus, u becomes cos x inverse x and v becomes 1. So now let's use the bypass formula. So we have u, that is cos x inverse x, into the integration of v minus the integration of differentiation of cos x inverse x into the integration of v. Now we know that the integration of x raised to n is x raised to n plus 1 upon n plus 1. So because we can write 1 as x raised to 0, the integration of x raised to 0 would be x raised to 0 plus 1 upon 0 plus 1 which is basically x. And you know that when you differentiate x you get 1. Now the differentiation of cos x inverse x is minus 1 upon x root x square minus 1. Ideally, we are supposed to have a mod sign uh, next to the x over here. But because we already know that x is greater than 0 as given in the question, we won't need a mod sign here because it's all positive numbers already. So we'll write it as minus 1 upon x root x square minus 1. So now let's substitute it in the formula. So integral of 1 becomes x, so we have x cos x inverse x minus the integration of minus 1 upon x root x square minus 1 into x dx. x gets cancelled, so we are left with x cos x inverse x minus minus becomes plus because we can take minus 1 outside because it's a constant. So we have dx upon root x square minus 1. Now we have the formula for integration of 1 upon root x square minus 1. Because if you look at the 15th chapter of the Opri Malhotra textbook, you will see the formula for dx upon integration of dx upon root x square minus a square is log x plus root x square minus a square plus c of course. So here our a is 1 because a square again will be 1 square which is 1 itself. So now we can write this as x cos x inverse x plus log mod of x plus root x square minus 1 plus c. And that's the final answer as given in the textbook. So that's it for today guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.